Okay, so quick video here. Just want to go through how to upgrade code on Mobility Express access points. You would think it's pretty self-explanatory, but doing this, I ran into a bunch of errors. One specifically, this UDI error about running out of space and negative 28 error code, really wonky stuff. Uh, so today we're going to talk about how to do this upgrade correctly. And if you get those errors, how to get around them. So guys, if you're new to my channel, go ahead, click that subscribe button. And if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. So to do this upgrade, uh, it is pretty simple, but we're going to go to the Mobility Express management IP address here. We're going to go to that access point under management. Go ahead, click software update. And then this is where we're going to enter in all of our information. Now, before you do this, you are going to need the new version of code that you want to put on it. Um, you can see the current version of code that I am on right here, 8.10.162. And to get the version of code that you want to go to, you go to cisco.com, find the access point that you have that's running Mobility Express, and you go to the download page for that. Now you can see, you know, I'm already on 162, but we'll, we'll pretend that I was on a lower version and this is the version I want to go to. Um, you can see two files here. The top one is if you have an access point that's a lightweight access point that needs to be converted to Mobility Express. I did another video on that before. If you're interested in that process, go ahead and watch that video. But for this, since it's already a Mobility Express AP, we are just upgrading to a new version of code. And for that, we need the larger 500 megabyte file, uh, this zip file below it. And this file is so large because it has all the AP images for 3,800, 2,800, 2,700 series APs all uh, zipped inside of this. So that is something interesting to point out here is it is a zip file. So when you download it, you will have to come in and you actually have to unzip this. This is different than a lot of other Cisco devices because usually it's a tar file and you don't want to touch it. But this, you actually have to unzip it. And then inside of here are all the different AP images. Um, and if you know that, hey, a 3800 is a Gen 3 AP, you can just drag and drop that into your TFTP server. And that's the only file you need if that's the only AP you're trying to do the update on. Or take this whole bundle, unzip it right into the root directory of your TFTP server. And whatever AP needs whatever bundle, it will go ahead and figure out which file it needs and pull it in that way. So once you have that unzipped, we will go right back to our controller update here, TFTP transfer method, IP address right there, file path. If it is in the root, just do a forward slash. If it's not in the root, put the file name or the directory name right after that. Then you're going to go ahead and click update. Depending on what version you're on, hopefully you get the green 100% update here and everything looks good and you can go ahead and reboot your controller and you're all set. If you don't, if this goes to 100% and then turns red and you have an error code next to it, then what you need to do, um, and if you actually look at the, at the terminal on this as well and you, uh, you know, putty into it, you will usually get some weird UDI error, error code like 28, um, you know, you'll get some wonky stuff with that. To fix that, you actually may have to downgrade code. So in my case, this AP was on a version of 8.10 already, and I wanted to go to 8.10.162. I actually had to go down to version 8.5. Yep, I had to downgrade the code, then download the new bundle again with a new code in it, and go to 162. So it was kind of a two-step process. So if you do get the error here, go ahead, get a version of 8.5, downgrade, or maybe if you're on 8.1, upgrade to 8.5, I guess, and it should go through. Then you can go to the version of code that you really want to go to. So you might have to play around with that depending on what versions of code you're on. But once it does go through 100%, then you can go ahead and I usually click the save icon here at the top. It's red telling you have configuration changes that need to be saved. After that, go ahead, click advanced controller tools, restart the controller. It'll probably tell you to, to save it once again. Uh, and then that's it. The AP should reboot. 
should get the new version of code installed on it correctly and you should be all set. If you don't and you guys still have errors, uh, comment in the comment section below. I also did start a WebEx uh, chat room that you guys can join. I'll post a link for that in the video description as well. So if you guys are using the WebEx client, it's free, you can download it. Um, you can chat with me live inside of a room uh, in that if you want to. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot.